anymore. I hope no one judges me for saying this, but I have a lot of Roman Empires these days. And you know who one of my biggest ones is? Wendy Williams and the Downfall of Diddy. And this plinum combines exactly that. Wendy Williams and the Downfall of Diddy. Let's start with the related headlines. Wendy Williams tried to warn us about Diddy. So it is known that Diddy had Wendy Williams fired from New York Hip Hop Radio. And that's the reason why she had to go to Philadelphia. So she started out a career as a DJ. And Diddy, Diddy, Diddy fucked with her career. During Williams' media career, the queen of entertainment news and gossip, who has never shied away from addressing celebrity rumors, tried to raise the alarm about Combs. And her ongoing beef with the music mogul may have even caused her career setbacks. It did. Did Oprah just pass the daytime talk show host to Sherry Shepard? Uh, so Oprah is, again, remains my mortal enemy. I can't believe she snubbed Wendy Williams like that. And I believe it's because she's threatened by Wendy Williams. Because, unlike Oprah, I love Wendy Williams. Now, I wonder if the mogul slash wannabe rapper has not been trying to harm the career and the person of the illiterate former a- uh, DJ turned talk show host. She warned us about him for decades and no one else. Tonight, we delve into the stormy seas of controversy surrounding Shalom Diddy Combs. Let's start with Kyle Marissa. She was a TikToker. The death of Kyle Marissa Roth, a well-known TikTok influencer, has garnered significant attention and sparked various conspiracy theories, especially given her recent videos exposing celebrities like Oprah Winfrey and Sean Diddy Combs. Diddy literally called the paps, yes. And we have a blind item on it. <laughs> Let's start with the related headlines. Sean Diddy Combs appears downcast in Miami. After settling Shmishmu's rape lawsuit with Cassie, Kesha removes Diddy's name from TikTok lyrics on stage after Cassie lawsuit. Also, you guys, Katy Perry uh, is recording her next album with Dr. Luke because her other albums have flopped, so she went back to Dr. Luke to do her next one. Yeah! Then we got Inside P. Diddy's wild relationship history and past girlfriends from Randlands with Cassie, 17 years his junior, to J-Lo Fling, and close bond with City Girls' Young Miami. Young Miami is his current girlfriend in air quotes speaking of calling the paps this mogul slash wannabe rapper called them to make it look as if he were grieving and struggling and sick about what was happening to him they went through about 20 minutes of posings poses <laughs> and then speaking of distraction and diddy uh Diddy instructed his current girlfriend to have a social media blitz showing off herself and kids in public and how happy they appear to be. The extra six figures she got over the weekend probably helps a lot with the willingness to go all in. It's time to start calling him he did instead of did he. These videos have highlighted what she claimed were scandalous behaviors and practices within the celebrity circle. Roth's sudden death with no cause officially disclosed, has fueled speculation among her followers and the online community about potential connections between her exposes and her untimely demise. Speaking of J-Lo and Ben Affleck, I found a blind item from 2012 that's about Jennifer Lopez, P. Diddy, and Ben Affleck. It is a doozy, you guys, and it did not age well. I have to say that in the world of divas, this is one of my favorites. She has been in this space before for a fairly big thing, but for an entirely different reason than today's item. Through the years, our diva, who's an A-list everything in her own mind diva, but on a lesser scale when it comes to her actual talent, has always acted a little bit more innocent than she really is. She has done a little bit of everything and has A-list name recognition and is known throughout the world. Back in the day, she was involved with another A-list celebrity. She liked to stay in the background and pretended she was this naive person when it came to the real world, but she isn't. She played our celebrity exactly the way he needed to be played and she walked away with well over $2 million from her time with him and never paid for anything and earned, earned a huge sum for herself, much of which was based on the publicity she got from being with him. Do you hear that? Much of it was based on the publicity she got from being with him. The publicity she got from being with him. One time, our diva was involved in something very messy. She pleaded ignorance and that she had no idea what was going on, when in fact, she was the one who caused it all to happen by her actions. Later, she basically ran the same con again with another celebrity. She walked away with millions in cash and gifts and some huge paychecks that were way more than she should have been earning, but the publicity allowed her to get her rates way, way up. 
From the time our diva first broke, burst on the scene, she has been cold and calculated and makes every decision with a very cold heart. It is all business and everything she does is business. You guys, that uh, other celebrity, okay, that she ran the same con on again was Ben Affleck. Deborah White said, adding this one to the list, sadly, Kyle Marissa Roth, the notorious TikToker who was found dead two weeks was going hard after Diddy, Oprah, and Jay-Z. Fat Norik said, TikTok mystery. Did Diddy allegedly silence Kyle Marissa Roth as part of a cover-up? Otis commented on a TikTok of her saying they got her. And Mel B00 said, protect Wendy before her death. Now moving to Tupac. Tupac's death on September 13, 1996, following a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas, has since been shrouded in mystery and the subject of numerous conspiracy theories. A central element of Tupac's story is the notorious East Coast-West Coast rivalry which polarized the hip-hop community in the 1990s. This feud primarily involved artists and executives from Bad Boy Records, led by Diddy on the East Coast, and Death Row Records, to which Tupac was signed at the time of his death on the West Coast. The rivalry was characterized by a series of diss tracks, public insults, and violence and incidents that exacerbated tensions between the two camps. Diddy, as a prominent figure in the East Coast hip-hop scene, inevitably became entangled in the speculations surrounding Tupac's death. While no evidence directly implicates him in the incident, Diddy himself has repeatedly denied any involvement. For Diddy, it was a period of strategic recalibration and an opportunity to advocate for peace and unity within the hip-hop community. This girl tweeted, P. Diddy and Jay-Z were Tupac's enemies, so who is really loyal to Tupac. Take off your jewels, we just gonna sun you. You can't sun this guy. You can't sun him, cause he not, he, he gonna reach for the weapon, it doesn't matter. You got 10 guns on him, he reaching, it doesn't matter, he's ready to die. So you can't sun him. So when he, when they went to sun him, that's what they thought. When they went to sun him, most dudes in the street gonna be like, okay, you got me. Take the jewels, take right, take things off, take chains off. They just, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? They just take it off, we run it, we're gone. You can't do that to this dude because he doesn't, he has no, he has no fear. He, he, he's like, I'm not getting right, I don't care. And they this, said, and they said, pop good with the, with the good. With the facts, so it's like, you know so you what happened? You shot the, the cops? Yeah, yeah, he, he probably could have really hit They said he got on one knee, yeah, ain't one eye like this, bop, bop. That was, that's how he aimed. That's he, what it is. He could have so, shot more, he could not I mean. So Biggie is in a rock and a hard place. Flizz is in a rock and a hard place because he know that this dude is mean. Haitian Jack and them. Moving to Kim Porter. Kim Porter, who passed away unexpectedly in 2018, was a significant figure in Sean Diddy Combs' life as she was the mother of three of his children and a long-standing partner who provided stability amidst his often tumultuous career. Porter also had a son from a previous relationship whom Diddy considered as his own. Her death from pneumonia at the age of 47 was a profound shock to Diddy and the broader entertainment industry. The narrative in this segment sharply pivots to a more intense and controversial tone when it introduces tarling allegations made by Donald Trump Jr. during an interview with the media personnel academics. Trump Jr. implied that Diddy might have played a role in the untimely death of Kim Porter. These claims quickly captured the public's attention, leading to a surge of reactions across various social media platforms. Maybe not even. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a, couple a couple years ago. And she called me like, something's up with that. I go, what, what do you mean? She's like, oh dude, Kim used to tell me like, it was a bad, it was a bad, like there's a lot of weird shit that I didn't even know that like, but they were like, you know, they do photo shoots together or whatever. They were they were sort of friendly. Like they'd, yeah. they'd hang out. Like we'd see them out in downtown. And like I'd hang out with her. Not so much with. I think it was already sort of over there. But like she was really afraid of him. And it really yeah. Like this goes back years. And so like and she was having these conversations with my ex. I was like, uh, like I, I don't know what like. A, a lot of people believe that whatever happened there happened with the, the woman afterwards, which is Cassie. And supposedly. No, she's it, like, like like I said, like I didn't. You sort of don't think about these things until now. You like you go back and you're like. Holy crap, like I distinctly remember when my Vanessa was like, calls me and was like, hey man, Kim Porter died. I go, what? Like we saw her like a couple of weeks, whatever it was, it was, you know. And and she goes, yeah man, there, she was sort of always in fear of something happening. And I was like, yeah, maybe it's natural, but like not a lot of people die at 47 of pneumonia. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, 
Wow. Uh, especially people, you know. Now let's talk about Cassie Ventura. She was a once rising star in the music industry, began her notable relationship with Diddy in a professional context that quickly evolved into a personal connection. Their relationship spanned over a decade during which Ventura was signed to Diddy. Ventura, unlike Tupac and Kyle, has not been deceased, but has been abused, allegedly, by Sean Diddy Combs. Ventura's initial introduction into Diddy's world was highlighted by her 2006 hit, Me and You, which was released under his label. The fallout of their relationship began to surface publicly when they parted ways in 2018. Subsequent to their split, Ventura expressed a newfound sense of independence and relief, indicating a departure from what some might interpret as a controlling environment. The comparison of the raids on Diddy's properties to those on the other high-profile figures like Jeffrey Epstein provides a stark visual and tactical similarity that we cannot ignore. By analyzing these perils, we aim to understand the potential severity of the accusations against him. Will Diddy find a path to clear his name, or is he destined to be another cautionary tale of fame gone awry? We leave you with these thoughts and invite your comments and insights. What other enigmas should we unravel? Join us next time on The Realm, where the search for truth never stops.